Hello, welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Uh, today we're back in the camper, of course, so I've been gone for the last couple months. But uh, my inside seal on the slide up top here, the D bulb popped off. I asked the dealer if it just replaced the whole thing. Well, they didn't. They put the D bulb back on and naturally it fell off. So they sent me a new uh, seal. So, what it is. So this piece with the red uh, 3M tape, that goes on first. This goes up against it. This goes up against the wall. And then uh, you staple it on, on this track here. And when you're all done, you take this D bulb. How uh, well you can see it here. Let me see if I can get some sunlight. Yeah, you take this D bulb and you slide it in this track here. So let me show you. I got the D bulb off because it was uh, partially off anyway. But what they have is they have a. Let's see if I can get you in here. They have a screw down the end here, holding it all together, and then a screw down the other end. And then all along here, you got staples. So I got some of it off. You got the backing back here. Just. Just be careful when you uh, pull that off because that double-sided tape's on there. You don't want to mess it up at all. And what's making it nice is right now it's about 110 degrees in here. So the tape is coming off pretty good. And then when I go to put the new one on, it should, uh, should adhere pretty good. All right, let me see if I can get some more of these staples out. Yeah, all I'm using is this little crow's foot, and I got a pair of needle nose. I haven't used a needle nose too much, but just get in there, pry. Hey, come on, you just got to take your time. And make sure you pick these up. You don't want these getting stuck up on top of the roof or uh, falling on the floor and the slide messes up your uh, floor. That's a pain in the butt, but it's not it's not too bad. Should have brought my stand up. And uh, one main thing don't put it on your roof. <laughs> no, I haven't done it yet. And as you can see, it just takes a little bit of work getting it out. I should I should bend this crow's fit a little bit better just so uh prize out a little bit more but they come right out pull the tape back move on to the next one Yeah, it really helps with um, it being so hot in here. This 3M tape's coming off pretty easy. Let me, uh, Give you a couple other things here. That's all the further I have it out. Less than a foot, really. The only bad bad side is down the end. It's it's closer to the ceiling. So it's gonna get your head up in there. And the other thing I would look out for is where you put your ladder. You don't want to put it on a slide itself or on the matting here. So I'm almost done. So let's get back to work. 
All right, so I got it all off. I got a little problem. As I probably should have checked this before I took it off, but okay, the water one, longer one, is the one I took off the camper. The one they sent me is about an inch shorter, and it looks like, as near as I can tell. The shorter one, I checked both sides, and the shorter one goes on the side. Now, it looks like it will work, but why did they put a longer one on the top? There must be some, must be some reason. So, uh, Becky Bell, Lurch RV. See if we can get the right one sent in. We're not leaving until uh, the end of the month. And I don't think it'll hurt too much with no seal on here for right now. So, all right. I guess we'll get back to you. I have a couple other things I'm doing too. It's things we noticed on our trip went bad. The uh, refrigerator, there's a screw on each side. One fell out. I checked the other screw and it was into nothing. So I just worked it and it fell right out. So I'm either going to have to yank that out, put a piece of plywood across the top of there. You can see where the screw went into the header board, but it's all split open. So I'm also going to try the outside panel, see if I can remove that and access it without getting, uh, without having to take the fridge out. So that'll be another video. All right, well, we'll get back to you. Okay, we got the slide seal in from Alliance, and I'm going to get it installed today. I already have it up here. Let me show you where it's at here. I have it draped across the top. One thing I want to show you is a little lip here. That lip fits up underneath here. So it's pretty easy. You just peel the tape back a little bit at a time, shove it up in there, make sure that lip is touching the top. And you're done uh, one other thing they use staples also to secure it and I brought my compressor out with the cron stapler and it's not powerful enough so I'm just going to use self tapping screws about every six inches going all the whole way across the other thing is that I found this D bulb is secured you can see here there's a screw there on the end well the same thing with the one on the top but the hole was stripped out. So I drilled it out, put them all in. I'll just put a num number 10 screw in there. We'll be good. All right, I'll cut back in uh, about halfway through, show you what I'm doing. All right, so basically all I'm doing, I'm moving ahead a little bit, making sure that little lip is locked up tight up against the aluminum tubing. I'm only doing about six inches or so at a time. Push it down. Not that hard. Actually, the worst part is it's uh, supposed to go to 90 today. And it's already getting pretty hot in here. Okay, I'm at the end. And uh, as you can see, I didn't pre-cut it. I figure I'll go ahead and put it on and then cut this end to length. I didn't want to have it move around on me while I was... Uh, trying to measure it out so it's not gonna be that bad I'll uh I'll throw a screw up there just to hold it in place but basically you just want it flush flush with get in here flush with this one and then your D bulb's gonna come past a little bit so all right let me get this end uh shored up okay I got this end cut and I put a couple screws in 
like I said, about six inches apart or so. One thing I noticed, I wouldn't tighten them down too much uh, with that double-sided tape on the other side. It's only rubber. I noticed it deformed a little bit on the first one I put in. So I just pretty much just snugged them up a little bit. I don't want nothing screwing that D-bolt insulation up. So, all right, I'm going to get the rest of the screws in. Okay, I got it all installed. Got all the screws in going across. The other end was harder because uh, the ceiling is lower. But there she is. So next is the D-bulb. And uh, I'm probably going to need Becky's help on this. So let me get her out here and we'll get that on and finish up and get out of here because I am sweating my butt off. Okay, me being pig-headed the way I am, I started putting it on myself. I could probably do it, but it started to get pretty tight. You can see I'm in about uh, five foot or so. So I called Becky. She's going to come out and give me a hand. All she, all she has to do is just hold, hold this up with it. And then I'll just pull on the other end and uh, should go on pretty easy. Okay, my lovely assistant is here and I'm going to show her what to do. Uh, you're just going to stand up here. And then you're just going to hold this straight out like that. Just keep, keep it in line with that. I'm going to go over here on a ladder and pull it in. Should be easy peasy. Famous last words. Yeah. All right, you might have to move a little closer and push also. But it's, go it's going, it's just a little, uh, little tight. I didn't, I didn't ask um, Amazon if you should put anything on here to do this. Amazon? I mean, uh, Alliance. <laughs> I probably should have, but uh, you all right? Yeah. I was afraid to put anything on it just because the last one came off. Hey, hold on, let me move. All I can't get no leverage with two hands. inches or so let me move up ready yep. oh. <laughs> all right hold on let me move, try moving back a little Okay, ready? Yep. Oh. Well, no, don't don't come off. <sighs> I need about five more inches. All right, let me see where we're at. about one inch. Ready? Yeah. All right, I, I think we're good here, babe. Okay. Okay. Okay, I brought that out to here. That Molly's back here. I'll put a screw in here to hold this. Then uh, cut the other end to length and put a screw in there and we're done. And I can get out of this sweat box. 
Okay, we got that all done. Um, Elias recommends Lemon Pledge, so I wiped everything down. Smells real nice. Another thing I did before I installed the seal, I wiped that area down with some uh, alcohol just to clean it real good. Uh, another thing, pick up all screws when you drop them. Don't leave anything to go on the floor and screw up your uh, those slides moving in and out. Screw up your floor. So um, I think Becky's coming, bringing some more stuff in. What you got there, Beck? Those are those binder clips, and then I got my new auction frying pan and utensils. Put it in here, decide if we're going to keep it or give it to Grandma. Okay, now when we put one in, do we take one out? Usually, but this might go to Grandma. Okay. Okay, so it went pretty easy. Probably would have been easier with three people pulling that D-bulb on. But other than that, um, not bad. It's better than taking it to the dealer. Uh, they would have had it for a month and not did it right. So, all right. So thanks for checking it out. See you next time.